The Bosch Performance Line CX motor has proved time and time again to be the king of the power stage at the Enduro World Series, some of the most technical and demanding climbing in the world. No surprise then, coming from a brand that actually introduced us to the sport of EMTB, brought us automatic mode and also ABS. However, as popular and as successful as the CX motor is, Bosch have decided to take it one step further. And so, yes, they have introduced a ludicrously fast motor. More aggressive, more acceleration, a motor that really is built for places such as this. And so, at 8,000 feet, folks, I am very, very happy to introduce you to the Bosch Performance Line CX Race, the CXR. But look, let's not get too dizzy. Let's bring it back down to sea level. Now, in as much as this new motor will love those alpine peaks and exotic places against the clock, it will also give you an advantage in lower altitudes when you can use the motor to accelerate you out of trouble in tangled route in places such as this. But remember, it is very much a limited edition motor and it's only gonna be available on certain bikes out there. Now, is that not the most purposeful looking motor you've seen? It's all about performance. It's all about getting the fastest time, saving those tenths of a second. So when it comes to accelerating out of corners, tackling technical, rooty and rocky terrain, getting the liaisons on time, that's what this motor is all about. But of course, with the performance comes the need of the rider as well to be able to deliver the skills to get the most out of this motor. And let's not forget, it is a more aggressive motor than the standard CX. Now, when we say aggressive, what we mean is this motor offers a very lively ride. It's much more dynamic when you need the instant power delivery in tough going. And I actually think it's a bit quieter too. Now, in terms of the uh, technical details, we'll come on to that in a little bit, but basic things such as the weight. Now, this motor is 2.75 kilos compared to the 2.9 uh, on the standard motor and it's visually you can see visually from the start you know the the gray casings the logos on the side of it it is graphically a very different motor i think this is actually one of the most incredible pieces of single track climbing in the world but the exposure is pretty acute oh cold a meal we're around about eight thousand feet and this really is a place where CX race really does come into its own. You can see this steppy, oh, really steppy ground. Oh. Oh. And one other thing is having spoken to quite a few of the racers that have used this motor, it's not just about the uphill scenarios, it's the downhill ones. Of course, a key part of that character is the extended boost, which is such a key feature on how this and other performance CX motors work. Now, one of the great things about the new Bosch Smart System is how you can actually customize your cockpit as you like. Now, this is the brand new white E180 Works, which they've chosen actually to just go with the remote and no display on there. But whilst we were out in Verbier on uh, the Mondraker e Crafty bike, one feature which I really, really liked a lot is you've got the Kiox 300 display on the handlebar, and it actually tells you when you need to shift up or shift down. And I think that's one of the coolest features that I've actually seen on an e-mountain bike for a long time. I think it's a definite plus. I think we need to see much more of it. Now I have to say, this motor is actually pretty flighty, so uh, you need to keep your eye on it. But in terms of getting you out of bother, it really does deliver. So for example, you've got like a little stump here, which is this high. And what, what it allows you to do is accelerate into the stump and then 
when that front wheel gets contact with the ground again, it's, it's literally good to go in an instant. Coming up to a super, super steep bit of ground here. Whoa. So this, folks, is classic CXR race limited terrain where you've got super steep switchbacks and it's all about tenths of seconds in each of these corners. So not only is the ground changing angle quickly, the corners are of different sort of sweep so you need to anticipate those really quickly well it's making light work of this i have to say to my right we've got the grand jurass which we get glacier level at the minute little step oh. i really do not want to fall down there What's really cool as well is when you've got the rutted ground, you can use EMTB mode and it'll pulse you through. So you can avoid pedal strikes. It's a great feature. Which is also on the standard performance CX motor, don't forget. At this altitude, I'm really grateful of the added support that the CXR gives you. <sighs> Now there is much, much more to this new Bosch CX Race limited edition motor than all out power, which it turns out is very suited to the technical demands of racing and or summiting Alpine peaks. There is the adjustability accessible through the e-bike flow app that comes with the new motor, the new fast that Bosch are describing it. And it's the fine tuning that really does allow a rider to customize the conditions ahead. So as you can see, now we've got the assistance. We can have less or more assistance. We've got the dynamic mode, again, similar setup. You can reduce it. Maximum torque, uh, 85 newton meters. Take that all the way down to 10 newton meters. So you can have low power e-bike and a crazy uh, powerful e-bike. So, so just, to, just to be clear what I mentioned earlier, so this bike actually only has Tour Plus EMTB turbo and race mode, but B tells me we can have eco if we like to, yeah. but that's a custom setting. Okay. So just going back folks, as you can see, here's the, uh, here's the screen flow here. We've got, uh, it's very different to the standard CX motor. We've got race, we've got turbo, EMTB and tour. So there you go, uh, a race limited edition built for racers. I have to say it's been a pleasure putting the CXR motor through its paces uh, here in Verbier uh, on some truly technical, difficult terrain. It's actually quite difficult to ride at this altitude as well, you know, eight and a half thousand feet, but it certainly is able to tackle steppy ground. It gives you that sort of momentum when you're going around hairpins, which really is a, a boost. So. Um, Okay, it might not, if you're doing adventure riding, it might not matter. It does give you a performance advantage, but it really is for the racers that this motor uh, really will pay dividends. Any questions you've got about the CXR motor, please uh, let me get in touch, let, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer them. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to EMBN for lots of other e-mounted bike content. For example, the Tour of Mont Blanc, which we did a few years ago, uh, and other types of adventure riding, which we've done on our EMTBs. Thanks for watching. Watching.